Okay, so yesterday we started learning about commands. Remember, a sentence that tells someone to do something is a command. So if we are reading sentences, if the sentence is telling us to do something, that means it's a command. And then commands end with um, exclamation or sorry periods or exclamation points if it ha if it's showing a strong feeling. So let's look at these two examples. This says pick up the pencils. It ends in a period, it starts with a capital letter, and is it telling me to do something? Yes, it's saying pick up the pencils. And the, another example we have is wait for me. And if you notice, it has an exclamation mark at the end because it shows a strong feeling. You don't want to be left behind, so you might yell out, wait for me. You are telling somebody to do something. You're giving them a command. So we're going to be looking at, um, at commands again today, and we're also going to learn how to make those commands clearer. But before we do that, we are going to play Simon Says again, because remember, Simon Says is a game that is using commands. It's telling you to do something. So get your listening ears on and make sure you're ready to play. I say, Simon Says, stand up. Everyone needs to stand up. Simon says, clap your hands. Stomp your feet. Oh, Simon didn't say, so you shouldn't have stomped your feet if he did. Um, all right. Simon says, stomp your feet. So now you should be stomping your feet. Good job. Simon says, raise both of your hands. Simon says, put your hands down. Simon says, twirl around slowly. Simon says, hop up and down. Freeze. Oh, Simon didn't say so, you should still be hopping around. Simon says, sit back down where you were sitting earlier. Good job. Thank you for playing that game with me. So all of those things that Simon says to do are commands. If I'm telling you to stand up straight. I'm telling you to lift your hands up. I'm telling you to hop up and down. I'm telling you to do those things. And so then remember, we can think of Simon says whenever we are um, thinking about commands. So now let's talk about how to make commands clearer. Okay. So we can use words like that, this, and those to make a command clearer. So if you use, if you add these words to your commands, it makes it clearer and better and easier to understand. So in this sentence, it says, pick up this book. Well, it's telling me a specific book and saying, pick up this book right there. So it tells me. If I just said, pick up the book, you might not know which book it is, but if I say pick up this book, then you know exactly what book to pick up. Let's look at our next example. It says, wait by that sign. Which word helps make it clear? The word that makes it clear. If I'm telling you at school and I'm saying, hey, wait by that sign, I point over there to that sign, then you know where to wait. If I just said, wait by the sign, you might not know which sign. So that helps make it clearer. And then third, help those children. The word those helps make it clearer because it tells me which children to go and help, right? So the words that, that, this, and those are all words to help make our commands clearer when we're telling somebody to do something. So now we're going to read each command and you're going to help me identify the word that makes the command clearer. Okay. So number one, it's a command. It's telling me to do something. It says, stand in that line. Which word helps make that um, command clearer? The word that helps make it clearer. If I'm pointing and I say, stand in that line, the word that helps make it clear. 
All right, number two, read one of those stories. What word helps make the command clearer? The word those. I'm telling you, read one of those stories. I'm telling you a specific, um, a specific pile of stories to choose from, right? If I just said, read a story, you might not know which story to read. But when I say read one of those stories, it helps make it um, a clearer command. Number three says, follow this path. What word helps make this sentence clearer? The word this. If I'm outside with you and I'm telling you follow this path, right? I'm telling you the exact path to follow. If there's a bunch of paths and I just say, follow a path, follow the path, then you might not know which path to follow. And number four, which word ma makes this command clearer? Write those words. The word those helps make it clearer. If I have some words on um, a wall, on my, weird, on my word wall or on my whiteboard, I might say write those specific words. And so the word those helps you understand which words to write down. Okay, so now you are going to be writing commands in your journal, and you are gonna to have to think of a command with the word that, a command with the word this, and a command with the word those. And you're gonna be writing those down in your journal. And I will help you set up your journal. Go ahead and get out your journal and a pencil. And let's go ahead and write today's date in the top right corner. 11-13-20. Pause this video while you are getting your journal set up. So we are going to be writing commands and making them more specific using the words that, this, and those. So in this area up here, let's write those words down so that we can look at them when we write, okay? So I want you to write that, has that th, that, this, and those. Go ahead and pause while you write that, this, and those in your journal. Okay, so now we're gonna put a number one in our journal. You are going to come with, up with your own command, so you're gonna tell somebody to do something, but you're also gonna use the word that, okay? So come up with your own command using the word that and write it down next to number one. Then you're going to put a number two and you're going to come up with a command with the word this. And you're going to write the command down next to number two using the word this. And then finally, number three, you are going to come up with your own command with the word those. So you're going to write a command and use those next to number three. I want you to be creative with your commands, okay? Tell somebody to do something. If it is a, um, a strong feeling, like, don't touch that, you might put an exclamation point at the end to show that it's a strong feeling, okay? But I want you to be creative. Think of three sentences, three commands using each of these words to help make your command more specific and clear. And then when you're done, you will take a picture of your journal and upload it to the very last slide. Have fun writing your commands down.